How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm hunting a bucket list fish of mine that I've been hunting for a very long time. Um, I've gone on many, many dives trying to shoot this one specific fish and I just have failed every single time. Either I haven't seen it or when I did see it, it was so murky that I missed my shot or something like that, something happened. But regardless, I've never shot this fish yet and the fish we're going after is Paw Paw. And there's a couple reasons why this fish is so hard to shoot. Um, it's actually not hard to shoot them. The hard part is to find them. And so I've been having a hard time, but today seems like a nice day to go out and try and find some. So I'm going out with my friend Luke, who shot tons of paw paws before, and he knows a bunch of spots. So he's gonna try and help me out. Um, we're gonna go out on his boat, try and get me my first paw paw. So um, I'm gonna head over there now, pack up my gear, and I'll see you guys in the water. Shoot. Alright guys, so this is just to give you a little background on what a typical pow pow dive is like. So you're diving the edge of this channel here, and the pow pows like to hang out along the edge. They swim back and forth looking for food, or they're hunting on the flats behind where me and Luke are right now. And sometimes you drop together, but you know, it's okay to, I mean, it's normal to drop by yourself too. It's just when you have a partner, sometimes the extra noise and the extra commotion uh, brings in the pow pows. Now right there, the reason why I looked at my hand is that something actually pinched me. But anyway, a typical paw paw dive, you're just sitting on the bottom, maybe you dust a little bit as Luke did there, or scratch on something, and you grunt a lot, really loud, or not a lot, but you grunt really loud, because you're trying to bring these paw paws who are, could be anywhere in the bay, and you're trying to bring them to where you are at specifically, and you're in the murk. So it's kinda, it kinda is unnerving sometimes, because there are sharks in this area, but that's basically what you have to do is you just sit there and you stare off into the murk waiting for a paw paw or something to show up. So it can get pretty monotonous because you're just doing that over and over again so it can be tedious. Now on this drop, you know, it was just like any other. I was dusting, or sorry, grunting and looking off into the murk. And then I was seeing this 12 school. And then I looked to my left and at first I didn't catch it but there was a good sized white swimming past. So I just took a shot. I couldn't see it in the murk after I hit it, but I knew I hit it because I could hear him grunting. So I just pulled him up. I wasn't shooting anything else, and to actually see something that was shootable come up to me, I just took the shot. We had actually seen a bunch of paw paws earlier, and I actually missed one because he went, he was going too fast out into the, the darkness where I couldn't see him. And so I just took a Hail Mary shot and I missed. Then I shot another one in the very beginning before Luke was even in the water and I ripped off on it. And we saw a couple more, but we didn't get any shots. But, you know, I was just still happy with this good sized white. I think it might be the biggest papillo I've ever shot. I mean, I've shot Ulua's, but I think four, this papillo weighed four pounds, so I think it was the biggest papillo I ever shot. And then I get back to the boat with my papillo and I see this monster that Luke shot blew out his eyeball, but this thing was ma- Okay, so we got the white, smaller white. Just weighed it, it's 4.4 pounds. So now we're gonna weigh the big pawpaw. That's a massive paw paw. Is that the biggest one you ever shot? Uh, yeah, that'd be around there. Probably, I think. Solid four pound though. And then you have Monopua. And the massive Pow Pow. Look at this thing, dude. Today was not my day, but it was it was Luke's. 
Whew. Huge. All right, guys, so it is the next day. Once again, I have just finished school. I failed yesterday. Luke got a really nice pow pow, and that wasn't the only one we saw that day. So they are around, and that's given me a bit of hope and given me a bit of drive, determination. I really want to get one, and I was this close. So I'm going to head over there again, you know, head over to his house, pack up my stuff, and we're going to send the boat out again, try and get me my first pow pow once again. But uh, this time we're gonna go out to a deeper zone first because Luke wants to jig and stuff uh, and live bait So I'm gonna be diving around his fishing spot. I don't know how good it's gonna be um, Not super super confident that I'm gonna shoot something out there But um, after that if I don't shoot anything or even if I do I guess we're gonna head back in and um, Go dive for pow pows and hopefully this time I'll get my first one So once again I'm gonna go pack up the stuff and I'll see you in the water Shoot Alright guys, so we got to Luke's fishing spot and we spent a little time trying to chum and see if things were coming around. I was taking a few deep drops, mm -hmm. this is in about 70 feet, and I was just scratching and dusting. And there's not a lot of fish around here, I mean, a lot of life, like a lot of small fish and baby opelucalas and stuff like that, but as far as shootable fish, I didn't see too much. I mean, there's that uhu in the back there, and I saw a moo on my way down. But other than that, there was not too much fish around. And I wasn't feeling great at the depths today, so I didn't want to, you know, push myself. So I just went back up. Now, I was swimming down through the chum line. And on my way down, I saw these four giant moo just sitting on the bottom. And they weren't even moving. So I just decided to try and dive bomb this one. And luckily, I placed a nice shot on the side of his body through the top. And it was so weird because I wasn't filming. I, I wasn't expecting to see anything. I was just trying to see if anything was eating the chum. And I was hanging out maybe 40 feet, 30 feet above the bottom. And I looked down and there was just a small school of giant moo just staring at me. So I just dropped down and they weren't scared that much. So I chased that one down and managed to get a nice shot. I actually thought this moo was gigantic because the place that we were at is known to have big moo but they're also known to be super smart so I thought I just really lucked out but I mean he wasn't small by any means like he was a good size one and I was super stoked but he was long and really skinny like I, he would have probably been my PB if he was just a little bit fatter but he was just a little on the skinnier side as you can see there and he might be the longest of all the moves that i've shot even my pbs but he was just super like thin he wasn't he wasn't very tall for one and he also didn't have that much of a gut on him and maybe that's why he was a little more curious because he was hungry i don't i have no idea but regardless super stoked to get this move first fish in the boat and especially stoked because i wasn't expecting to shoot anything at all then I managed to come out of the water with a nice moo before we headed into the paw paw spots. But after this moo, it was time to target the paw paws. Alright guys, so just to reiterate once again what pow pow diving was like, today it was a little bit more murky than the other day, but you just I was by myself this time because Luke was micro jigging and because it's so shallow there's not too much danger and so we trust each other to, you know, stay close to the boat and to be safe and you're just diving on the edge of the shallow ledge the shallow edge of the channel 
you're just looking off into the mirror, just grunting, and you just move your head constantly, you're looking back and forth, right and left, always looking for any sign of the pop pop because they come out of nowhere. And if you're not paying attention, they could come right at you, look at you, and then leave, and you would never know that they were ever there in the first place. So just constantly looking back and forth, and that's what paw paw diving is. And you do that over and over again until on one drop, you just get lucky. So right after I shot this Paw Paw, he was stunned for a little bit, but then he starts ripping out line. And the thing about Paw Paws is they're super, super strong. So this guy takes off into the channel, and I'm just praying he doesn't get stuck because I do not want to dive into that abyss. It's very, very spooky at the bottom, especially when it's dirty. So I was just praying he didn't get wrapped up on anything on the bottom, but I knew I hit him good. One, because he was super close, and two, I kind of... I kind of could see where I was aiming and I knew I had to have hit him somewhere in the mid body. So I knew he wasn't going to rip off and I was just getting more and more excited as, as I was pulling up more and more line. And he takes a couple runs, but this guy is actually on the smaller side of the pow pows that uh, Luke usually sees at his spots. It's a good size one for sure, but it's he just shot a 12 pounder so you know it's it's not it's not the biggest one i could have possibly shot but i did not care at all i was just so stoked i finally landed one it took me so many tries i can't even count how many times it took me to actually shoot one it took me so many tries to actually see one for my first time but finally all the hard work and all the dives of just staring into the merc seeing nothing I finally got one and I was just beyond stoked. finally did it after countless attempts finally got one not the biggest one but um certainly one and then i also got this big moo that i dive bombed somehow pretty nuts but super stoked on the paw paw Five pounds, nice one. This, that's my third biggest. Alright guys, so this is the two chunks of one filet of the pow pow that I'm gonna eat right now. And I wanna taste like the actual flavor of the fish itself. So I'm not gonna do anything too fancy, not gonna do anything too uh, nuts with the seasoning or the cooking, whatever. I'm honestly just gonna hit it with some garlic salt and pepper and then just fry it, make katsu. So um, yeah, we'll just, we're just gonna season it 
Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make katsu or just pan fry it yet, but I'll figure it out. Alright guys, I'm about to try paw paw for the first time. So, didn't put a ton of seasoning, and I'm not gonna put any katsu sauce or anything on it. The crust looks great, but you know, let's see how the fish tastes. Hot. Woo. Sorry, I had to stop recording for a second because it was way too hot but super good I mean like like I said I didn't put a lot of seasoning on it um, so there's not a lot to hide the flavor of the actual fish the texture for one is nice and firm I like that uh, I don't like when fish comes out too mushy but this the texture of the paw paw is really good it doesn't have a lot of flavor but it also doesn't taste like fish. It doesn't taste like limu or, um, you know, some certain uh, fish that eat like algae and stuff. They taste like really fishy, if that makes sense. I know it, obviously like fish <clears throat> is going to taste like fish, but I mean, it doesn't taste fishy at all, which is really nice. If anything, like next time I would season it just a little bit more, but it doesn't need that much. It tastes good on its own. And um, I'm probably gonna try some sashimi next to see uh, what that tastes like, but overall it's super, super good. Definitely need to go shoot another one. So, Luke, let's go shoot another one. All right guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I finally managed to get my first pow pow and check that fish off my bucket list once and for all. And the thing tasted amazing. I mean, it tastes like better than Omilu's and uh, the whites. And honestly, it's a better fry fish than yellow spot in my opinion, but you know, I just, I really loved it. And I loved finally like the gratification of after those countless drops on the bottom, just staring off into the murk, uh, seeing absolutely nothing to actually have something come up to me and for me to land the shot for once uh, was super, super cool. And I'm so stoked to get my first pow pow. Huge shout out to Luke. Uh, I'm gonna leave his Instagram in, in the description below. Huge shout out to him. He's the reason why this whole thing happened. And um, he was down to take me both two days in a row off the boat. And so I really appreciate him. If, Luke, if you're watching this, thank you so much for helping me shoot my first pow pow. And he's actually been helping me for a long, long time, trying to get me on my first one. And I just haven't been able to do it. But today, I finally made it happen. So huge shout out to Luke. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. So. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Shoots everybody.